tutorial on uh, constructors in object-oriented design. When we last left you coding heroes, you're in the throes of constructor, parameterless constructor construction. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make um, a constructor with parameters. So guess what you call it? It's parameterized constructor. So, parameterized uh, constructor. Okay. And then after we do this, we're going to create a constructor that is a semi-parameterized constructor. And that way, when you're done with all these constructions and constructors, that you will have a variety of ways that you can create new data objects. And that's really what it's all about. So we're going to put on here public, and it's date. And now what we want to do is put our set of parameters. Now, parameters are arguments. It's information that is required in order to run a method. Okay, so in a method definition, we put down what information we need to create a date. So we're just going to think about all the dates that the user would provide. And the user can provide the year, the title, the month, the day. Now we could ask the user to provide day of year, but who really knows what the day of year is if it's somewhere in the middle of the year? So we're just going to stick to the ones that when you create one, you'd have. And you start by creating the data type. So we're going to want to get the, the title. Well, the title is a string, so you've got to put string first. And then you put title. Okay, so that's the first argument we're going to receive. And we're going to get an int, an integer for year, int for month, and an int for day. And I'll just put it on the next line. And there is our set of parameters, which is why we call it a parameterized constructor. Where they come up with this stuff. Man, it's pretty awesome. All right. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and put this in here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put in um, our constructor. Now, this is where it gets kind of wonky here. Um, you might think it's wonky. And the idea here is that we're going to receive some information for title, year, month, and day. And the information is captured through these. These are variables that are only local to the constructor. When we're done with the constructor, these variables go away. They um, go off into some sort of uh, garbage collection, kind of like Willy Wonka, you know, when the nuts go down the thing. We don't know what happens to them. Maybe they get incinerated. Who knows? There's this thing called the garbage collector, and it will collect the stuff that's just kind of left over. Those are going to be gone. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to capture those in our fields, and these are our fields up here. And we're going to do that with a new keyword called this. Okay. So you look at this. Um, this with a dot. You always start with this with a dot. And then basically what you see as your options here on this is um, these, day, day of year equals, etc. Okay, so this dot title is what we want. So this dot title, and that is our field. Right now, that field does not have any value associated with it um, when we're running the constructor, that is. So we're going to put this title equals title. And look what I did. I accidentally called it title. And there's nothing wrong with that except for it doesn't make much sense. So I'm going to fix that right now and I'm going to just delete the D on there. Okay. And notice how it didn't like it at first when it had a different name. Okay. This has to be done. This, let me get it. Okay. Anyway, this has to be done for every uh, field that we are capturing here. So put this dot year equals year. And this dot month equals month. And this dot day equals day. Okay, and we're going to run this out. Okay, so it likes everything on there. And what we want to do is test it out. And then I want to show you what would happen if we didn't have all of this code here. Because you would think, well, maybe it will work just fine. Well, let's see if it will or not. I'm going to move this back over here. So now we're going to create a new date. And we're going to call this graduation. And if I am correct, graduation is on June 6th. Date graduation equals new. There's the new keyword. Now, when I put date, I put a parenthesis, I now have two options here. I could choose one, which is date.date, .date, like that, or I could choose number two, which, as you can see, there are all of our parameters. All right? And so when we do this in here, we call these... Um, these are called arguments because we're generating the new date and we're, we're giving arguments basically all the things that we want each of those uh, string title, year, etc. So we're going to call this uh, 
class of 2013. Aha, uh -huh, we can actually do other things here. Class of 2013 graduation. I'm going to put a comma here. And notice, it now we have year highlighted, so that's going to be 2013. I already mentioned that. And it's the month is 6, and the day is 6. And then we put here, like so. It likes it. And let's go ahead and try it out. Console dot right line and we'll put uh, graduation and let's go ahead and test it out with our debugger and as you can see right here class of 2013 graduation 6 6 2013 day of year zero now the day of year day of year okay that okay well ah here's something interesting though notice we did not initialize day of year did we um, and notice how it says zero. Okay, let's go back to our code. And one of the things you will notice is in our constructor, uh, we received all these arguments. We did not receive the date of the day of year. Um, here we set it to one, but that was our parameter less constructor. And here we got a parameter. Now I could create day of year right here, um, but we have another uh, method for day of year that we're going to add. And I'm just not focusing on that now because I want to just focus on the constructors. Um, what we could do is we could just put day of year equals one. And now we've temporarily solved it, but um, to do... We'll just put uh, call day and day of year method. Of course, we can't call it until we've generated it. Okay. All right. So there's that on here. Now, what would happen if I didn't have any of this? So let's try that out. So we're gonna put. What we're gonna do is we're gonna comment that all out. That's how you can quickly comment out a bunch of code. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's receive all that information and then try to do something with it. So we received all the information and now look at that. We have no string value for the title, year, month, day. All of those are zeros. Day of year is one because we still had it set in there. So we absolutely have to have that code in there when we do it. So I'm going to uncomment it out. Okay, 